Hello, in this tutorial I'll be going over how to set up a functional door using the join component. Uh, there'll be no flux in the tutorial as we don't need to use it, but I may make an extended tutorial after this of how to make a lock system. Uh, but for this one, uh, we won't need it, so I'll get started. So go smooth POV. And so first we need to go to the inventory tab. And then you should see something like this. So Resonate Central should be one of the only folders in the inventory unless you have more stuff, but everyone should have this folder. So we'll go inside of this. And then we want to go to Tools. And then inside Tools, there should be this tooltip here. There's just the first one, and it's called the Dev Tool. So double click this. And then <coughs> something like this just spawn out. So to equip this, just point at it, click, equip Dev Tool, and then it should be equipped. For your desktop as well, you can just click the number 2 in your number row and they'll also equip it. So now what we'll do is we'll open our context menu, click create new, 3D model box. This will create a box mesh for us uh, that we can move around and such. Um, I'm going to be doing this with just a procedural box. If you have already a mesh for a door, this tutorial should still work uh, basically the same. Um, but for now, We'll select this box, so press secondary on your controller, that's either the touch button on index or press down in your joystick on um, cross controllers. So if it's selected, you should see the gizmo. Um, and now we'll open our contest menu, open inspector, and then you should see something like this pop up. So first we'll make the box a more door shape, instead of just being a box. So what we'll do, we'll go to the box mesh, and we'll go to Y, we'll click on that, back, 2, and I'll double the um, height of it, and then we'll go to Z, we'll delete that, 0 0.1, and then you see, um, the door is now shrunk to be more of a door-ish shape. Um, so now, what we'll do is, if the box door selected here, um, now the box still selected here, we'll click the up arrow to the right, or the green up arrow to the right of the purple line and the plus. Now we'll create this parent slot here. So what this has done, it's made a, a parent in the same position as the slot that we just had. That's why the position here is now 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1 scale. Because this parent has now inherited all of those properties. Um, and you may see these some of these values be like 0 0.9999. That's just rounding errors to worry about. It's the same value essentially. Um, but with this selected, um, all we want to do now is get rid of the gravel. So if you see now, you can still grab the box mesh, but we don't want that as it's not grabbing the parent. We want this to be a door. You don't want to just fly it off. Um, and also, if you mess up something, just open your contest menu, click undo, and I'll undo your last change. Um, so we'll go back to the box. We'll scroll down. And then what we want to do is delete this component here, the grabble component, and we'll click the trash can here. And now you see you can no longer grab this. So with that done, we'll now want to move over the box mesh to the side so that the parent slot is right at the edge of the mesh. So that the hinge goes around the edge of the mesh instead of in the center. Um, unless you want like a revolving door, but and you can mess it until you like it. Um, so we'll go select on the parent now by double clicking. Uh, oops, sorry. Now we want it. So now we'll stay in the box, go to position, and then we'll click on the X. So you can see which direction as well with the colors. So red here is X. We want to go positive right. So we go 0 0.5. And you see that's shifted over by half a meter. And if we select the parent now, you see that the parent is now perfectly aligned at the side of the mesh. So with the parent still selected, we'll go attach component, um, transform, interaction, joint, double click that, and we'll close that up. So now you see if we grab this, it might just snap, but it won't do anything currently. Um, but you will see that the rotation has turned um, purple, that's because it's now driving that rotation whenever you grab it. Um, so now the joint's on, so, but currently there's no max 
uh, twist, which is what we want. So if the twist will go here, and we'll increase this to 90 degrees. And now you see, it all now works. Um, one thing you may want though, as currently there's no way to get it back to where it was, we can add a snap rotation. And then you see now, when you bring it back to zero, it now snaps uh, perfectly closed. Um, we can add more though, so we'll just add a few others. And we'll grab this, bring it to the edge. We'll grab 90 degrees. Just uh, to grab a value, just grab the value should pop up there. And you just drop it into the value you want. And there you go. And we'll bring it all the way around again. Um, to this side. And you see it's 90 degrees, negative 90 or 270. Uh, and then we'll drop it in here. And now you see it snaps all the way open, closed, and open the other way. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention was that currently the door has no, um, like, powder collider on it. So you can just walk through it. So to fix that, on the box collider, uh, on the, just the, um, uh, box mesh. So there's the door. Um, we will scroll down. And then on the boss collider, we'll just enable character collider. And you see, we can now just bump into that and we don't walk through it. Um, if you're making this on a custom mesh and you don't already have a boss collider, what you can do is attach component. Um, scroll down, we'll go to physics, colliders, box collider. Um, and if you click visualize collider, it will show you what the collider looks like. Um, and then re-enable character collider and click up setup from local bounds. That should pretty closely match um, what the mesh of the door should be. Um, and then to get rid of this overlay, you can just select another slot or get rid of the inspector. Um, but since we already have a box slider on there, uh, I'll just get rid of this and just enabling that on the regular one should just work and the door should just function. Um, and that should be it for this. Um, it's just a quick tutorial on how to make a door, um, but I will also have the Resign Discord in the description in case you need any more help. Uh, but for that's it, does it? So, there you go.